Hi guys, it's Nair here. So, I'm going to record myself just making a simple barn with some wooden support beams. I'm just going to show you quickly how I get around the hammer and just a couple of tips on how I do certain things like vertex carving, texturing and so on. So, first thing I'm going to do is just set the grid a little bit smaller to, uh, let's see, just one minute. He's going to eight, eight units thickness. So there we go. Doesn't really matter how deep or long or um, whatever the piece is, as long as you got a four piece like so. The so next thing you want to do is just make some walls. So just go into your side view, make this any sort of size you want. I'm just going to go up to there like that. Uh, actually what I'll do, scrap that idea, what I'll do is I'll actually go 128 units, like so, and just pull that down, like that. The reason I'm keeping it like that is when I actually come to texture it, it'll fit onto that wall. This is how source works. 128 usually represents a 512 texture, I think it is, it might be 256, but pretty sure it's 512. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to select that. Control C, Control V to copy and paste. Um, Control X cuts. So pretty much every application in Windows uses those shortcuts for that. So we've got that like that. In fact, what I'll do, let's just make that a little bit taller. Um, what I'm going to do now is make the end piece. So, and there we have it. That's the the building blocks of the barn. The next thing we want to do is make the triangle slope for the roof. So, what I'm going to do here is make the piece like that, and I'm just going to carve from that point. If what what you do is if you select the next point along like that. In a perfect diagonal what it'll do is it'll cut it in a perfect 45 degree angle like so so you do that on both sides and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these walls down to represent the same slope and if you pull that down by one it, it's it's all exactly at 45 degrees like so and the next piece is the roof so I'm just going to lower the grid so it's not quite as thick. There's two ways of doing this, by the way. You can either do it by making a block, like so, and carving it, like that. It's as simple as that. Or, the other way, which I'll show you on the other side, is you can make... What I'm going to do is just line it up to there, like that. You can make a thin piece like that, you go in vertex mode, swipe over the over the edges you want to select, press enter. When they're in red, you can pull them down like that. I personally would suggest actually using the carve over the vertex. You are it just you tend to get a cleaner finish on it, assuming you you're confident enough in doing that. Vertex, you can run into more errors like the faces can get stretched and things like that. And it's just better to use the carve in general. I, I hear a lot of rumors that carves are bad, but if you really know what you're doing on it, it's, it doesn't tend to be an issue. So, anyway, on to the next bit just the wooden beam. So, what I'm going to do is a quick 8 unit by 8 unit beam there. And what we're going to do now is make the, mm, the the two top slopey bits so what you do is just make a box like so and what you want to do is rather this is two two here and it's two there what I'm gonna do is actually go three to compensate for the the, the slope because what it'll do is when, if it did two the thickness of the beam would be wrong but it would look thinner than what it should be so I'm gonna do that like that so next thing to do is copy and paste, control C, control V, 
and where your mouse is in this camera when you're pasting it it'll paste it in that position assuming it's over a another block or brush so the next thing you want to do is rotate so that's control M to bring up the transformation box so 180 degrees to spin it around once and then you just simply line that up like so so the next thing I'm going to do is this straight piece so like so zoom in a little bit so you've got a bit more control I'm just going to chop those top two corners there you really want to try and in, in, in any case really you need to try and avoid overlapping edges uh, so next one's these two the two extra support beams so I'm just going to make a box you can do this any size you want as long as it's overlapping otherwise you, you, you don't know just it's just going to make it harder for yourself so same again with the other slope you, you want to compensate for it a little bit you can cut this anywhere so I'm just going to do it like so and this because it's all lined up is a nice easy so next thing I'm going to do is copy and paste that control M again to rotate that and um, like so now there we go that's perfectly aligned so quickly now what I'm going to do is select all of them holding control to enter my function detail is set for default entity so apply that now that's function detail I would suggest doing that as you go along so you don't end up having to do a ton of it right at the end so the next thing and final thing is just quickly texture so I'm just going to find a wood texture um, which is going to be this one so right click what I'm going to do is just line this up so one of the edges has this the black there so what it does it just I find it just makes it you just get that extra bit of detail it just makes it that look, look that extra bit nicer so anything facing on these sort of angles you can just right click and what it'll do is it'll apply that texture into the same settings like sort of it's like this texture corner so what it'll do is it'll hold these positions here onto here so because that's facing up you, you just rotate that like that 90 degrees same again right click so we got all them now texture is the same process just quickly align it now this one I'm gonna avoid this because you can see it's symmetry there so what I'm gonna do is just move along to the next wooden beam just just so it looks more natural so like that next this is even gonna be 45 or 135 degrees I know you just gonna pick a black bit like that just get that extra bit of detail it just makes it look that like extra bit nicer because I rotated that before it's held that position so there we go like that and the same with that top piece like that this is 135 line it up again a lot of this is just trial and error until you, you, you're getting it look, looking the way you want but if you can be smart with the textures you can, you can really make these things look nice there we have it um, the only thing I'm going to do is just push this one up slightly like so and actually I'm going to pull this down like so just so it defines that edge a little bit more There we have it. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this at the end here and in the middle. So copy and paste, put the mouse again anywhere there, but it doesn't really matter because what you end up going back on here anyway and just quickly aligning it. So and then what we're going to do then is put one in the middle. So this is really easy to work out. These X's on these pieces represent the middle piece. So if you just select the mouse there line that there to the middle do you see how that was off center then the easy way to fix that is just go tools snap snap to snap selected to grid individually like that and that'll 
realign that. There we have it, like that. So, we should then quickly find the brick texture. Let's put on this. Obviously, you can spend a bit longer doing this. So, just select it, right click on the walls like that. Ceiling texture, but it's going to be a wood roof, so wood. Just got to find the wood roof now. Um, I have got one in here somewhere. I did find it before. Um, just one minute. Just trying to find it. Seems to have disappeared actually. <laughs> I did see this before when I was looking through here. There it is. Right the bottom. Just going to put that on there. Rotate it because normally that kind of texture runs in that direction. You, you, I mean, I could try and line it up to there, so it's just to give it that more detail. See, so it, the, the shadow in there looks like it's on that beam. If you right click on there, it holds the same position again. And then that back texture there, what I'll do is, it, what happens is, when you go in the browser, if you clear that, the filter at the bottom, and then you select any of the texture, what it'll do is, it'll take it to that same position in the browser so see how that's took me to there and I can get the single detection then like that one paste that into there what I'll do is I pull that down just to give it a bit of extra detail so as long as I get that roughly lined up to there it just gives you that extra bit of detail and then what I'll do then is quickly put some I'll just put a roof put some s tiles on the roof so just that texture there what I'll do is rotate that like so line that up and then same again on there this actually needs rotating so I'm going to put 270 in there like that and then these side pieces what I'm going to do here is I will you can put anything you want but I've got these trims here so I'm just going to put that on there and just quickly line these up so it looks nice like so right click on there these corner pieces are the same again either 135 or 45 the way I'm actually moving the camera around here by the way is when you're in this mode here you can left click on your mouse holding and move the mouse around and then use ASWD to move around like that and if you want to move up and down you can hold shift and press the up and out move the arrow keys like that to move around like that so anyway back onto there what I'm going to do is just finish texturing this off so this is 135 so I'm moving a little bit closer. I'm using the arrow keys here to navigate around this camera. So do that like so. These bricks need going on the outside like so. Um, like that. And to, to get these texture corners, what I'm going to do is just I should be able to just left click on there, right click on there. Same again on there, left click, right click, and then on the floor, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to type floor in and just find something that's suitable to put on the floor, so, um, just going to put mud floor on there for now, like so, and there we have it, a simple barn, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull these pieces out, so what you can do to do this, just so it drops down a little bit. So if you select that piece there, zoom in, select the vertexes and just move it down a couple of touches like that. Select the other one like that. And while I'm in this view here, you can you can use this view to make sure you get to the same like sort of drop as the other side. So you can see that when you move up there it's on the same point there as the other side so as you select the inside you can see that it's at the right point and then 
and all that does then is it just gives that extra little bit of detail like so but because I've done that I'm, I just need to adjust this side texture again so just pull that down like that uh, like so and that is it and if you want to add windows and things like that it is very simple all I'm gonna do I'll just show you that quickly before we go I'll put a quick window in and a quick window too all you do is select a piece like that and uh, what I'll do is I'll have no draw set as the texture here so you select the piece what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste it and put it there so I've got the same piece as a reference and what I'm gonna do is just cut that piece there move that one back into the same position as where that was before which is which it is I'm going to copy it again so it's in its in Hammer's memory I'm going to cut there paste it again line it up over the top and then what I'm going to do is cut it so it fits into that gap so I've got I've basically just split the wall into three pieces. Now what I want to do is to make the gap again, I'm going to copy this piece, cut it there at the bottom, and then paste it again, and then cut it at the top. This is the easiest way I find to make windows. Uh, hold on, just one minute, just undo that. I cut that the wrong way around then. Like so. Let's just cut it a bit higher. That's how you get your window and what I'm going to do is just quickly, I'll show you how to do this, this is how to make a very quick, good looking wind frame. This is, I'm going to make this quite com complicated, oh god I can't get my words out today, I'm going to make this quite complicated so you can just see how easy it is to make complex shapes. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just making a simple overlapping trim. But the bottom bit's not going to be overlapping, so like so. What I'll do is just push that in so the, the, the lips on the other side. What I'll do, put that back. So that's a simple uh, trim. What I'm going to do is just give it some shape really quickly, and I'll show you the easiest way to do this. So, what I'm going to do is just lower this gradient more. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these corners like that. On all, on all of these, and it's just about getting it in the right view. But this is very easy to do once you get into the the, the rhythm of using the card tool. Uh, so I've got to go back in that. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving all these three corners like a nice curved sort of edge. And then all I've got to do then is I've just got to mitre these corners off. So this is very simple as well. Just the, the same again, card tool switch in between it like so uh, like that and then the last piece like so and then so you got a really nice window piece like that and you can I'm just, I'll, I'll put a couple of beans in as well just to show you how that is very simple to do I'll put some glass in quickly as well so that. Copy paste. I'm just gonna try and keep the same gap. Normally, what I do to, to work the same gap out is what I'll do is I'll make a piece like that, and then I'll just move it between each one like that, and then copy and paste. So you get the exact same gap between each piece. And there we have it. And then what I'm gonna do is just quickly make a center piece going down you're not really supposed to overlap it so really the best way to do this would be to actually copy and paste like this let's just zoom in here so we get all these pieces on the same um, the same top view so to speak uh, like so Paste. I think one of those gaps was one unit out, but it doesn't matter. And then to do the glass, this is really simple again. All you do is you make your piece 
just like that. Get a glass texture, a little glass, and to make glass, it's all sides and no draw bar on one of the faces. It doesn't matter which side, it can be that side or that side. In game, it will appear like a piece of glass. Function detailed, no, uh, not function detailed, it's hit entity, sorry. Breakable save. There we go, and then it just it's just a quick case of selecting, copy and pasting really quickly. Like so, just pull that up so it actually fits in that gap. Like so. And then oh, that's why that it, it wasn't one unit out before, it was just because of that. And then to texture it, what I'm gonna do is just Turn the brush groups off so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna go wood. I'm gonna use the same wood as before, so wood. And then just do this like this. Just really quickly. It is actually easier to do it is actually easier to make one piece and then texture it, but it does save you time in the long run. I'm not really going to bother trying to line up all these textures, I'm just going to do it quickly just for the sake of this video. Um, like so. Really quickly just texture this. And then, like so. If you were doing this, you would spend a hell of a lot longer than what I'm doing here, but like I say, this is just for the purpose of this video. Like so. So, just make sure all the sides have got a texture on them. Just in case of right clicking. You can spend more time getting this looking nicer. Using better textures. You line the, the black bits up. Uh, and what I'm going to do is quickly pull that down there. So it matches up. There you have it, a nice clean glass window. Um, there you go, and you, you can even what the, the, what you could do is select them like that, and have that breakable as well. Function breakable. Set the material types of wood. There you go, like that. So there we have it, that's a simple barn with a window and if you want to add more it is very simple as well. Just all I suggest to do is cut a gap anywhere down there. Uh, if you select these pieces, really what I should do is function detail that and making that selection then would be much easier so for the sake of this I'm just going to select those like that. Um, control C, Control V there, and then it's just cases just zooming in, and I'm lining that to the correct point, like so. And then to fill that gap in, you just copy and paste that, and oh, I happen to cut that at the exact gap then. <laughs> Um, the only other thing you got to do there is just if you right click on the textures there, so you left, I'll show you there, or hide the mask there. You just right click there because when you copy and paste, the texture won't line up there. So you can see the join there. So if you left click there, right click there, there, on all these pieces, it will nicely join up then. You can do the same on the outside as well. And then to full screen this, just left click in the camera, shift Z and that fully enlarges it and there you have it, that is a nice, nice looking barn that. Now you can put terrain around it, put lights in it, whatever you want to do. If you want to put a quick light in it that's very easy, so you just go prop static, that's my default point entity. Switch for light. with 
啲聲。Control Z to come back out of that, and then just in case of you just line this up roughly like that, and you get your nice hanging light there, like that. And then you can put all sorts of things like glows, lights, so it looks nice, so it's shining through the windows. Um, could put some wood, wood flooring on there instead of that. how you do it so thanks for watching this video if there's any questions just pop them in the comments and I'll answer back to you the next video is actually going to be I'm going to actually make a section of from my upcoming map Broadway 2 which is going to be I've got this section where there's three holes it was in it was briefly in one of my other videos but I'm actually going to do that bit so that's the plan so Thanks for watching and see you later guys. Bye.